DavidKimberly.com, sitting here with... Justin Gosdas. Where are you from, buddy? Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. You've got to get down here, and we got to share with the world your story. This is inspiring, guys. Now, we're going to inspire the world right now. I'm going to ask you, what was your setback, buddy? Um, I have rickets. It's a rare bone disease. It affects your bones and makes them really weak. Um, it caused my legs to bow severely over time, and my arms to bow severely, and just very weak bones. When I was young, I was perfectly good until I hit about my teenage years. Then my mobility started slowing down. When I was growing up, I played every sport there was and then eventually got to the point where I couldn't play anything. Then it eventually got to the point where I could hardly get around. Okay, so, so we're not moving around and uh, we go to the doctor. What does he say? You need surgery. Tell us what these are. Um, these are rods that were placed in my legs when I first started having surgeries. And I had them in for about 10 years and got them out a few years back. Rods and screws that were from my hips down. Oh, you guys hear that metal? That was in his legs. And, and what kind of shape were you in when they came out? Not very good. Half decent. I was working out, but not. when I first started having these surgeries, they could only do one leg at a time. So there was a two-year period where I w did not walk. I was in a wheelchair for probably half of it. A friend of mine in Salt Lake told me he's seen you in a few magazines and found out you were from Salt Lake City, Utah. So I looked you up, started checking your stuff out, um, friended you on Facebook, sent you a few messages. You replied and we started working together just a little bit after that and you sent me my protocol and I've been following it since. He couldn't do bench press and, and we wanted him to be able to get a chest. We wanted a chest, damn it, how do we get a chest? And so we manipulated it to be how many push-ups twice a week of chest? 250 twice a week, so basically 500 a week for probably at least 8, 10 months straight. 500 a week times 4 is 2,000 times 10 is how much? 20,000. And then what happened? I can bench now. <laughs> okay. What your job is, what you do every morning, and what you're surrounded by. Um, I work in a bakery with my mom, so we, I'm around sugar and every kind of treat there is in the world every day of the week. And then your hands are in the dough too, right? Every day. So, he, I mean, it's not around it. He's touching it. He's touching the sugar and the dough. Every day of the Dude, week. how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you not eat? Sugar's not even tempting to me anymore. No, 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 no. You're looking at the camera and somebody uh, out there is going, the hell with you. Sugar's not tempting. Come on, man. I just put it in my mind that I am not going to bend. I'm not going to break, and I'm going this way. I'm right here, man. The fridge is open. How do you shut it? Whew, it's hard sometimes. It depends on the day, but I just tell myself, you're going to wake up. You're going to wake up pissed off tomorrow if you do it. It's like the end of, yeah, it's like the, the, the whole day you beat yourself up, the whole, even days after. It's not just a one-day thing. You just... It's, it messes you up mentally. You feel you're not as focused. You're not as on point. You don't, I feel like I don't lift as hard. I feel like I don't push myself as hard. I feel like I'm down on energy, everything. It affects everything. How did you, how did you stick with what's on that paper? I trusted what you said. I seen how you looked and I trusted what you said. And I said, if it works for him, it's going to work for me. He has terrible judgment. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Okay, yeah, so, no problem. so this guy is proof that your mind is the most powerful thing in the world and that if you use it, it can control all of your decisions to start or stop anything. Was it worth it? It was 100% worth it and everything on there, I felt like helped me to become what I am today and helped me to be the strongest I've ever been and only gonna get stronger. This is a man, and that's symbolic to me, this is a man with bent bones that could easily break and he proved physically that that is not the case. Uh, yeah. Tell me what the doctor said. You, you were saying this some little while back where the doctor said... Well, I was going back and forth with the doctor, having issues with my legs, and kept going back and complaining about certain things. And he came in one day at one of our visits and said, you're just going to have to deal with it. And he walked out of the office that quick. And I wanted to kill him. I, w I wanted to get up out of my chair and kill him. And I left there. I got about halfway home and I was in a complete rage the whole time, just boiling rage. And I he hit, took away your excuse. And I hit halfway point and all of a sudden, it just hit me. I'm just going to have to deal with it. And that was the day that I decided I'm on. I'm hardcore right now.
My life is not over. No. I don't have an excuse. This is it. This grown man who's a doctor did everything he can to help me and then told me to... Step it up. Step man it up. up. Man up. Yeah. Dude, Johnny. epic story. Let's, let's, do, let's do something fun. I'd like to, to kind of show the camera uh, what we've been working on. And, and, and let's talk about our weight real quick, actually, as, as we're transitioning over here. What did you weigh when you called me? And how long did it take to basically build this? Um, I weighed around 151. And I would guess today I'm in the 135-ish range. 135. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Let's see what you got. That's my man. Are you kidding me? We don't leave the calves out. That's thin skin, guys. This man has earned it. All right, show us some scars. Tell me you can see that. You've got one all the way up here, all the way sliding down to his knee. Got him on my knees. And then straight knees. down through his knee, all the way through here, into his ankle. Same thing over here. Knees. Now, you guys, this is a medical miracle in my opinion. So just like his arms, look at that. Are you kidding me? On top of scars, on top of pain and, and, and agony and, and, and heartache and, and a thousand different excuses. And I said, bro, you straighten your arms. And he looked at me and he's like, you making fun of me? Because at this point still, uh, his physical ability is not to where he can straighten his arm. That's a straight arm. Show me what your straight arm looks like. He built this body and thinned his skin and that's his straight arm. What is your excuse, friends? To ask them what their excuse is. Yeah, what is your excuse? His definition of pain evolved. His definition of, of what I can do has evolved. And, you know, if you get that kind of email from me online, now you'll understand that guys like this, it's not me, it's not David Kimberly, you gifted guy, it's guys like Justin and, and, and my buddies like Dale and, 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 and any of the, uh, my favorite transformations, Juan, um, that have done this, they're, they're all proven to you that you obviously need to evolve your definition of effort, try, and pain. This guy's not a model, but he sure looks like one. Wow. Can't tell me he doesn't look good on a boat. He asked for a date. You kidding me? Proud of you, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, what is your excuse?